It is the first videoed report of the progress of the Cell Logic project in East Africa. Uh, needless to say, the, we have every reason to believe that the, that the results that we will be describing here will stand on their own and be considered worthwhile. But beyond that, there's a second purpose here today, and that is a kind of a sense of celebration, because we're in the, what might be considered an ideal setting here, a setting where, where the combination of some resources and limitless mercy and love have come together to provide hope and comfort to children here who might otherwise have considerably less. Uh, in addition to that, as we start uh, our little program today, we're going to be reviewing the experiences of several adults, uh, which will again stand on their own merits. The purpose of our, this report is to demonstrate that when informational proteins derived from the first milk of mammals are supplemented on a four-hour basis, we call that a close interval evaluation, that induced recovery is capable uh, uh, in, uh, in, in all conditions, including those most formidable ones, specifically HIV AIDS. When I met Doreen, she was very sick. She was not able to move. Um, she was confined to the bed. So my first reaction was to save her life. And what I did was to take her blood to analyze the immune system. So when I did the analysis of the blood, I found the immune system had been compromised. And that means that the CD4 count was 11. So this was uh, very worrying. And uh, by good chance, I came to know Steve. And uh, he gave me some products, which I gave to Doreen. Fred Alnikuta. Last year, Doreen explained that when she met me, she was very ill. She was worried about her children. She thought she was going to die. And um, that really worried her very much. She was not able to walk. She was not able to eat. She was being fed. And uh, after taking the cytolog, she was able now to move around. And now she feels she's completely healed. Mission, body. When you look at Doreen, you see not a person who is getting better, but you see a person who's profoundly well. Doreen could stand among any group and be representative or be suggestive of the most well person in that group. Doreen represents just how good it can be. Here's a person who's been on the material now for about 120 days and who has been completely compliant. So Doreen's response is what we would expect anyone to realize who was compliant, who was not taking any type of, uh, of hazardous medication and who would simply uh, drink plenty of water and give it time. And Daniel came to, vi to visit me on 10th of February and he was at that time not able to walk. He was not walking. Uh, he was very weak, he was not eating and uh, he had a thrush in the mouth which I think now is gone. He had a terrible thrush and so, so a throat I mean, which could not make him eat. So uh, after two days, Daniel was able to eat. When I couldn't do anything, stand or walk by myself, I have to be supported. I wasn't eating and uh, my kid was also sick by then. Uh, when I saw Dr. Alfred, after three days I could eat. Uh, after two weeks, I was able to walk, to do things here and there uh, without anybody's help. I think the product here is quite okay. And uh, James also had a rash on the face and um, also he, he cleared after two days. Now that rash which looked like a chicken box is not, not there. Uh, Grace also came on, on in February, I think that a week after um, Daniel, and Grace had also problems in eating. She had very difficulty in eating. She had also thrush, uh, mouth rush, and she is. This is a special case. She is on one spray, uh, uh, four hourly. So this is is also different because we we looked at her condition, 
it was not very bad. You know, she is still very good condition. So we decided to give her one spray four hourly. That means one spray is for um, one ml. And Grace is now able to eat. Last time I was with her about uh, three days ago, she told me she even wakes up at night. She feels uh, hungry, she wants to have a, a sandwich. So Grace, did you carry a sandwich with you? Do you have one with you now? I'm sorry, today I didn't carry, but I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so she has now appetite, she is very hungry, and I hope we shall have some biscuits to, to eat after this interview. But Grace now has got a very good appetite, and that's very, very encouraging because once you have appetite, you eat very well, and you drink a lot of water, you will also regain the weight you have and the water fluid in your body. We have to recognize that there's nothing about the liquid in that bottle that would increase a person's appetite, nothing about that that would cause a person to gain weight, unless increased appetite and weight gain was part of a recovery strategy. Any of us here who are lucky enough to be at our ideal weight would not experience an increase in appetite, would not in experience an increase in, the, in our weight gain. So uh, probably the most um, exciting early indicator that an individual is really going to respond well is this uh, tremendous appetite that Grace is describing here. For even a very, very short exposure to the product, to take a child that is at risk and, and take them out of danger. Uh, even uh, re and, and keep them or, or, ha or have them remain stable for perhaps weeks at a time. So we're going to, of the five children, the first three children are representative of that first possibility, what is in fact a kind of a probability. And then the remaining two children will stand as evidence that it is so important, at least for some, that they have continued access to the product. Now at the end of the day, what this is all about is to do whatever has to be done to make sure that there is adequate amounts of this product so that all the little children that we see here can receive it every four hours and so that they will then not develop any of the symptoms that we might otherwise anticipate that they would. This is little Dawn. Dawn was in the, around the 20th, of, 20th or the 23rd of November what I perceive to be the sickest child here. There were a, a more or less a dozen children here that were hospitalized or in receiving special medication, special care. But the, the, but the little fellow that seemed to be the sickest was Don. He was in his little crib and he could, he could sit up if you'd lift him and he could look at you if, you'd, if you would stimulate him a little bit. What he couldn't do was open his mouth. Don was experiencing an episode of acute herpetic lesions in the mouth. He was being fed with a tube he was so apparently weak and so near, we, we felt that he was so near the end that he wouldn't even be a good candidate. But the sisters were more hopeful than I, and they began to spray the, li the liquid just on the lips of his mouth. When we started him with the spray, after one day we started to see the improvement, the change. Yes, after two days he was already taking orally. He could long? drink some milk, he could eat some food, then, after, just after few, five days, he could walk around and uh, he was happy. Eating is a living sign, and not eating is a dying sign. When people experience uh, appetite, it means that the cells in their body have their marching orders. And when they don't, it means those cells don't. Okay, so I think that that's... Don, do you have anything to say? Would you... <laughs> I think not. Okay, Don, I'm going to put you down and we're going to go to the next little one. Fatuma, when we first met her, didn't look like she does now. She didn't have that beautiful head of hair. But look at his beautiful hair. Now what's interesting is that both, both Fatuma and Dawn received the product only for two weeks. If I look at my notes, they received it from more or less the 23rd of November until about the 10th of December. And in those two week period, during that two week period, they were able to enjoy enough influence that they had a sustained benefit. Now, does that mean that these children are not at risk? No, it doesn't mean they're not at risk. I firmly believe that if they have access to even one ML every four to six hours, they will not be at risk. But in the past, over the last few months, that's not been the case. This little girl over the last um, approximately three months has had access to this for two weeks. And yet look at the beautiful results. So she had the rashes all over the body. She was complaining of general body pains. 
of which could not be released by any analgesics. But after this product, she started improving, and now we can see the results. Badru became ill after I left, but my understanding is that he had a rather severe episode of kidney failure. After we put him on this product, he improved. We, after one week, we saw the, the good results. And now he is strong enough even to go to school. Benson I met in November, early November. Benson is actually a relative of a friend of mine from the United States. And when I first met Benson, he was very weak. He could make it around his house, but he couldn't really go out and play. Within the first day, she had gotten him to eat liver. Wasn't it right? Liver, didn't she? Didn't he eat liver the first day? His strength level was markedly improved to the point where he could leave. He had a, the compound where he lives. He lives in an area that has a beautiful big yard. I don't know, it might be a half an acre or an acre and enough for anyone to play in, but he needed more. By the second or third day, he was playing at the neighbor's house. Um, his grandmother was so concerned that, that he be protected and not be over, overtaxed that she didn't feel he should uh, ride his bicycle. But I was happy to tell her that if he wanted to join the Tour de France, that he could do it. And so he got on his little bike, which as I recall, the, the, uh, the back tire was flat, and he pedaled it up the hill. So I thought that was really impressive. No, when we first saw this little guy, his lips were red. Yeah. Now look, they're beautifully restored. So these are all, again, evidence of the disease progression. And then the reversal is evidence of the disease regressing. Very good, Benson. Now Charles is a little one who's, who obviously has suffered from a failure to thrive. One of the common complications of HIV AIDS in infants is this failure to thrive. In addition to that, he's been diagnosed with tuberculosis. Now, when Charles first began to receive the product, and let's see, Charles received it from the 23rd to December the 10th. He did respond positively. He had, before he had the fever, which was not going down, on and off, but when he, we started him on this drug, the fever set on. Then he could eat willingly, of which he was not feeding well before. The, after three weeks, this product finished. So sometimes in January, it started getting vivas again. So again, what the sister is telling us is that uh, he responded during the time it was available. And then it was early in December, about the middle of December, th the supply was exhausted. And then subsequent to that, he started developing symptoms again. But here again, we saw a nice response. We saw a resolution of the fevers. We saw an improvement in appetite, that living sign. And so he is, as I say, he's the first of two children. Emily was then, as she is now, very sick. Emily was, uh, to any reasonable person's judgment, at immediate risk. When we came here, it just so happened that Emily was the first child we saw. She had a, she had a syringe. In fact, we might scan this picture. But she had a syringe in her right hand, taped up, so that she might be, receive the antibiotics. Um, uh, incidentally, she was suffering from a respiratory condition that was resistant to the antibiotics. So Dr. Agola had every reason to be concerned for her. She began taking the product on a four-hour interval, and I came back to visit her after two days. Now, Dr. Agola was not to come back for three days, so I actually saw her a little before Dr. Agola did. The child that I saw was a completely different child than the first day. A completely different child, I might add, than what we are looking at here. But Emily stands as evidence that a, that a child can respond dramatically, and yet if denied continued access to the product, particularly if she only receives it for a short period of time, she can fairly, in fairly quick order, rapid order, decline back. Uh, sister, I think that our records show that she received the product for about two weeks, and that her access to the product has been interrupted since about the 10th of January. So you can see why we're so concerned that she have this now every four hours for an indefinite period of time. I'm looking forward to the next time we take her picture, confident that if she can receive it every four hours, that we'll be looking at a beautiful head of hair here as well. We are seeing some quite good uh, results from Cytolog, from the children we have given and to the adults and it's quite uh, very encouraging. So in summary, if I could just say one thing to you, it is that our current 
experience, even up until today, suggests that we have it. We've found it. We've found the means by which wellness is maintained, and we've found the means by which recovery can be induced. Just as the five or six or seven people here are representative of all the others who have taken this, there are no sad stories here. There's just pieces of happier stories. But uh, as I say, the, the, the experience we've had to date would suggest that we could stop the dying within weeks if this product was broadly available. That if we can get to people even within the last few weeks of life, as long as they're conscious, that there is a real prospect, that there is a real prognosis that is positive. The experience we've had even as recently as this week suggests that the, that a, the dose that will be effective in maintaining wellness is probably one-fifth of the dose that we originally uh, anticipated would be required. So with that good news, it means that when we've done everything we can to lower the cost of this product, to bring it within the reach of everyone, this good news means that it is in effect dropped to one-fifth of that price. So with that in mind, I'm going to rely on Dean Kruger to take all, this, all these rough-hewn pieces of, of information and sew them together with some pretty music and maybe some prettier people than me. And, uh, and we'll have something that's presentable. Thank you very much. It was a miracle to meet him and to see the benefit that he brought in this family. And uh, meeting the other day with the doctor, we were wondering, but is the doctor back or will not be back to help us again? And you see now he's back and he's willing to help us to prove that the good Lord is the good Lord. Because even the medicine that they discover and they are distributing to help the sick people is not that eh, it's coming from their end straight, eh, but it's a gift of God. Even eh, the fact that they discover this medicine uh, it's a gift of God and we want to be really thankful.